My name is Beria Mijembo. I am the country director for the Sonda project in Malawi. The mission of the Sonda project is to empower impoverished community through high impact sustainable development. One of our initiatives is the student sponsorship program. We visit every recommended student for the program at their home. Sometimes climbing mountains to get there so we can understand firsthand the challenges they face. We believe there is no greater form of sustainability than to provide an education. We focus on sponsoring high school students in the remote communities who have the potential but lack the resources and support to thrive. If these students aren't able to stay in school, the likelihood they drop out is high. And if they drop out, the chance to get a job and earn a stable income is severely reduced. What makes our program, I think, unique uh, as a sponsorship program is that our staff on the ground are heavily invested in the students in which we're sponsoring. And we're not just going to a school and saying, you know, we want to sponsor, give us a list of students, and then we uh, cover their school fees. We are meeting students at their homes. We're meeting their families. We are building relationships with their communities. And we are checking in on the students on a regular basis. So I'm happy that uh, you are well organized. You, uh, you give the necessities to the students on time. You give their um, 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 funding, that's the funds, the bursary funds on time. And uh, you make lots and lots of follow-ups with your um, um, uh, students in the school on time. And you always make us not sleep on the, on the job. Yeah, with the, your group. I like it very much. I like it. Please keep it up. When they go back to their villages, there is nothing that they will be doing. Um, the only motivation that they have or they see in the community is their fellow friends who are married and have babies with nothing to do to support the babies. I've got to spend some time in Malawi and meeting our students and hearing their stories have really touched me. Um, one specific story that stood out was meeting a student, Veronica. We went to her home. And we met her with her mother and a number of her siblings. And she told us how she actually used to live with her father in a different community. And she lived with her father and her two older sisters who both completed secondary school. And she, that was her path. She was on her way to secondary school and then her father died. Um, he was sick and he passed away just recently in 2020. And she ended up having to go live with her mom and she wasn't able to go to school anymore. And she was out of school for two years until the Sonder Project ended up in her community and she applied to be sponsored and we accepted her. And now she's back at school and she is living in a hostel and she's in a learning environment and she's succeeding and she's like back on her on her path and back to where she saw herself and she's like a 16 year old kid who you know deserves that opportunity and just just seeing that was really powerful the selection process is hard uh, sometimes we can just look at the household you can just look at the student you can just look at the parents and from the questions that we ask, we get um, a great understanding of who they are and if the need is, to, is there. I mean, just imagine for yourself, like the difference between not knowing if you're gonna be able to go to school tomorrow and your teacher is gonna chase you away because you don't have a school uniform or you haven't actually paid your registration fees yet. And so you're just kind of biding your time and hoping nobody says anything versus knowing that your school fees are paid uh, you, you you have the books that you need you're staying in a hostel uh, so food is provided and i mean it's so it's it's like night and day 
you know it's your you have confidence then you have uh you know that the opportunity is yours like suddenly you have agency to it, it's like it's up to me now to i can focus on my education i have the resources that i need and um and and so that's power and so you know we're we're giving the students power agency um, to realize their potential. When you look at a student that is fully sponsored, just like what maybe I'm talking about the Sonda project, that sponsorship brings stability right over here. The student is assured of completing his education. He's not checking whether we chase these students out. That makes him to be stable. As a result, focuses on education rather than being distracted by any other factors. In the end, we have ever seen improvement in terms of performance. The day we go to the community and announce the names of the selected students, uh, it feels special. Uh, and most of the times, we don't get uh, enough speeches from the parents because they are so excited and the message is the same. They fail to speak out their words because of excitement. And to us, it also feels good. And you can see it from their eyes that these parents really needed the support to support their uh, students. Actually, you are helping these students uh, uh, to, to, to learn. And not only to learn, you are also indirectly in the near future, empowering the same communities that they come from.